Next is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and Schoolmaster David Lawrence, recorded August 30th, 1973, in London, England. We are speaking of this Krishna consciousness. The message is from the spiritual world. It is not of this material world. Therefore, <coughs> sometimes people may misunderstand. Yes. So we have to explain it nicely. And, but the entire subject matter of Krishna consciousness is not of this material world. All it is of spiritual world. But they, they have no information of the spirit and the spiritual world. Therefore, sometimes they find it very difficult to understand. One of the very important enclosures, um, which we mentioned when I came up last, for the teacher's pack this was, not for the actual booklet, was um, a series of questions, hmm. what we would call sticky ones in the West, but I'm sure you, you'll deal with them with very great ease. Um, I've tried to produce what I thought would be uh, objections to Krishna consciousness, mm. not as such to theism, but more to Krishna consciousness. Um, and if I could, Mukunda has got them in fact, there's about eight or nine, and if you could be pleased to perhaps answer them on tape and I can have them uh, transposed. Uh, we're going to produce this in the teacher's pack, six or seven sheets mm. of cyclostyled uh, notes for the teachers. So they'll be able to meet the objections, perhaps, of their students. You know, some of the intelligent students may, may make points which clearly can be, can be met, mm. yes. but we can meet them, in a sense, before they're even asked. Mm, yes. It makes it even more, even more impressive. Yes. In which point these two students may possibly object? Well, I've mentioned um, a few points on which, uh, you know, I, obviously I've studied a bit more deeply than the average student because of uh, university and all this sort of business, which gives a particular form of knowledge. Mm. Um, let me think of one. Yes, one that I, I asked, which uh, I know Mukunda has already answered for me, that uh, we need it in the teacher's back, of course, is the fact of the, the dating of the, uh, of the Vedas. You know, people like um, some of the archaeologists such as A.L. Basham and Mortimer Wheeler um, maintain that the Harappa uh, dig, so to speak, in the Indus Valley, in Henyodaro and all those towns, um, show the dating of the, of the Vedas, in fact, to be a great deal later, you know, and therefore to, um, to take away, some people would say this, to deprive the Vedas of a certain amount of authority because they no longer, according to these men, would appear to be the most ancient religious scriptures in the world. Hmm. And that, that sort of question, you know, which... Um, Veda means not religion. Veda means knowledge. Mm -hmm. So if you can trace out the history of knowledge, then you can trace out what is the date of Veda. Can you trace out when, when which, which is the date when knowledge began? Mm -hmm. Can you trace out? I wouldn't think they could. <laughs> I wouldn't think they could. <laughs> so how you can trace out the history of Vedas? Mm. Vedas means knowledge. Vedas means knowledge. So first of all find out from which date knowledge began. Then you find out the date of the Vedas. Mm. Yes, it seemed to me, I, I, I tried to, um, to read, certainly A.L. Basham on this and... Uh, Those who are, know Sanskrit, they know what is the meaning of Veda. Yes. Veda means mm. knowledge. Vetti Veda Veda Jnani. Jnani means knowledge. <coughs> that means, the history of Veda means from the date of creation of this material world. Now find out the date of 
creation of the material world. Approximately, <laughs> nobody can <laughs> give what is the data. Mm. We can, we cannot data of uh, Brahma. He got the first of all the basic knowledge. Now, one day of Brahma he cannot calculate. One day of Brahma. They, when Brahma night is there, there is devastation up to some extent. So, again in the daytime, of course, Brahma, that creation takes place. There are two kinds of devastation. One devastation is at the night of Brahma, and one final devastation is the whole cosmic manifestation finished. <clears throat> so these teeny people, they are after the deaths of Vedas, and that is ludicrous. Mm. That is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just like there are many microbes, they grow in the evening and die at the night. Uh, just in the day beginning. The whole night is there, the span of life. So mm. Our life is like that. What history you can write? That we receive Vedic knowledge from the authorities. And what is the value of these dates? Indeed. <laughs> I mean, it's the sort of thing that Western scholars suppose, excel in. <laughs> suppose if you try to trace out when the human being began calling mother. Can you trace out the history? They try to, uh, uh, they try to take away from the Vedas by making it seem very young so that the Bible is older. They think that Vedas came from Bible, the many ah. scholars. These Askers think like that? Yeah. Yes, you see, they say that the <laughs> Because the uh, the Aryans came from, um, or passed through at least, the Middle East. Mm. But in fact, some of the um, older parts of the Old Testament predate, mm. so they say. And indeed, some of the Egyptian uh, higher, some of the better Egyptian stuff. Um, so one has to link. transcend this, uh, <coughs> what is called, historical. Mm. Yes, they, they, they calculate in Darwin's theory. Mm. Darwin's theory is out now, isn't it? <laughs> Considered old-fashioned now. They dispense with these theories as quickly as most people do uh, their newspaper each day. <laughs> yeah. One day it's in and the next day it's out. <laughs> And while it while it's in, everybody claps and applauds. Well, one or one or two other points. Perhaps I can raise um, one or two of them. Uh, one, or, some of them are longer. In fact, an interesting thing that um, came out of my study of the of the Christian, or certainly the Jewish uh, tradition, mm. and I wondered uh, really on your views on this whether it relates at all to the Indian one. Um, it seems. When you get to the really high spot of Jewish religion, which many people consider the uh, the prophets of, of uh, Judah, what is that high spot? Well, exactly. <laughs> that is <laughs> in inverted commas. <laughs> they are rotting in the lowest spot. Is yeah. <laughs> what is that high spot? Uh, let's think. Somebody like um, perhaps Isaiah or somebody like this who was somebody, a, a universalist. Somebody says and, uh, so many things. But yes, actually, that's right. Oh yes, I mean, if you take them, they all differ in their views. One of the things, one of the themes that comes through, um, 
is the idea that the that was the gentleman the other day was asking how is that you say electricity oh you are not present that time yeah. mm-hmm. because you have translated there is there is no need of sun there is no need of moon there is no need of electricity <laughs> in the spiritual world oh yes yes i'm so, reading that yes when he heard the word electricity he became astonished <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah 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 yes i must admit i was amazed at that reference on reading it today that that frog philosophy is going <laughs> dr frog <laughs> is simply calculating the well that's all how there can be atlantic ocean <laughs> and that is frog philosophy yeah. you know frog philosophy <laughs> yes <laughs> no i i don't think <laughs> No. You can explain what is that frog flag? Frog flag is trying to match the size of the Atlantic Ocean never having left my well. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Completely beyond one's experience. Yeah. Yeah. No, especially of the Mr. Frog, Dr. Yeah. Frog. Dr. Frog. He has never seen no. what is the Atlantic Ocean. Yes. Yeah. And somebody informed him, oh, I have seen such a vast mass of water. <laughs> <laughs> no? yes. Is it bigger than this? Yeah. Well, beyond this conception. Yeah. Completely. That these people are like frog. Yes. Rotting in the well. Yeah. And what they can understand of the basic knowledge. <laughs> yeah. So one of the themes really that interested me was this um this yearning certainly was true among the Jews to return to a rural background, you know, to a rural sort of setting. I wondered if you felt that um much of the much of the vedas was in fact a uh, a firm belief an affirmation if you like that uh, the the most true form of life the most pure form of life is one that's lived alongside nature not against nature as we seem to be doing in our urban setting right uh, uh, in the jewish tradition they 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 yearn for a life of living on farms and villages small communities with cows and agriculture yeah. this is also expressed in various oh, yes. you feel that strongly oh yes. that is real life yes real life means you have to minimize uh, your bodily activities so that you can save time and devote for spiritual understanding yes that is real life mm. Mm. and the present civilization based on bodily concept of life is animal life yes it is not civilized life mm. uh, <coughs> civilized life means athata brahma jigyasa when one is advanced so much so that he inquires about the spirit soul but there is no such inquiry like yeah. the cats and dogs they cannot yeah. inquire what is spirit soul so <coughs> vedic life means uh, to become free as much as possible from the uh, bodily disturbances therefore the first education is to become brahmacharya yes seriously okay? mm-hmm. now at the present moment they are trying to make the abortion as law but these rascals cannot check their sex life yes you see mm-hmm. their philosophy is that you you shall go on with sex life unrestrictedly and when there is pregnancy kill the child yes this is their rascal philosophy mm-hmm. they they have no idea that by training one can forget sex life yes so if you forget sex life where is the question of abortion where is the question of abortion hmm? but they cannot do that no. therefore it is said adanta gobhi bisadang tamisram by uh, non restricted sense enjoyment they are gradually going to the uh, 
animal, a lower grade of life. They cannot explain why there are so many varieties of life. They cannot explain. So this killer of uh, baby within the home, so the result will be that this man who is, uh, I mean to say, indulging in abortion, he will be put into the womb and somebody will kill him. Kill him. Mm-hmm. And as many wombs or a baby he has killed, he will have to take so many lives and being killed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. So much so that it will be rather impossible for him for hundreds of years not to see the light. He will remain in the womb and being killed. Yes. Does not know the nature's law. One cannot violate the nature's no. law. You can violate the state law. Suppose you kill somebody. You can escape by trick, but you cannot escape nature's law. As many times you have killed, so many times you have to be killed within the womb. Yes. This is nature's law. Very interested to talk to a, a nurse in one of the main London hospitals only last week, in fact, and she was saying that they're having almost impossible time trying to man these abortion wards now because all the uh, all the nurses and doctors just don't want to do the work. In some cases, she was saying that they they take a baby from its mother's womb and uh, you know it's sort of put onto a tray mm. and thrown into a litter bin, and you can see it moving. And they've had one or two cases at their hospital where they've gone out um, afterwards and they've seen they've seen babies moving. In in Calcutta also in dustbin found out something. Dustbin. Terrible. You know, some in such a uh, advanced state of pregnancy that clearly life is a strong possibility. Not advanced stage. Yes. Life begins from the very beginning of sex. Mm. The sex, the living entity is very small. Mm-hmm. By nature's law, according to his karma, he is sent to the father's seminar and that is injected. Mm-hmm. And immediately the two secretions emancipate the man's and the woman's, and it forms a body just like a pea. That is the formation of body. Now the pea-like horn develops gradually. Then first manifestation is the nine holes. Everything is there in the basic Yes, yes. The nine holes, we have got nine holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In this way, gradually, the senses develop. And by the time seven months, everything is complete and the living entity's consciousness come back. Prior to the formation of the body, the living entity remains unconscious, just like in chloroform, anesthetic. <coughs> then, he dreams and then gradually consciousness at that time he becomes very much upset to come out, come out. Mm. Then nature gives him heart. He comes out. Mm. This is the process of miracle. What do they know? They do not know anything. No? no. I was absolutely amazed to read an article, I think it was uh, This is Vedic knowledge. Well, so you'll get everything perfect. Mm. Therefore, uh, how there can be any history? Taking that is the difficulty. We are speaking uh, everything of the spiritual. 
Mm. Mm. That's why it is sometimes very difficult for the gross materialist. Yes. They are so dull headed. Yes. The uh, British Association, which is um, many people regard uh, an irrelevant bunch of scientists who, who meet once a year, one of the good speeches was in fact given on the question of the value of human life, and one of the points was made there by somebody who has had to talk to these girls who come in to have abortions, some cases their third and fourth abortion, and they're not married of course, and uh, saying that uh, many of the girls regard an abortion in the same way as they regard a shampoo for their hair. Yes. Oh, well, you know, it hair's is. got to be washed, we wash hair. Womb's got to be cleaned out, we, we clean the womb out. Mm -hmm. Just like that. There's a very moment in the shampoo. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> that means that, that human beings are simply being put into ignorance. Animal kingdom. Yes, yes. <coughs> this is modern civilization. Yes. To keep people in ignorance, in darkness, is ajanata. Mm. Mm. Ajanata, the Sanskrit word is ajanata. Lokasa ajanata. Ajanata means to keep in darkness. They do not know anything about the importance of life. Ajanata. Jaya sanmahita jiva. Atvaram trignatmakam. By this ajanata principle, uh, a man considers that this harm, this matter, they are all doing all these things because they, do, they have no spiritual understanding. That's right. Yes. Taking the body as lump of matter. Mm -hmm. To break a stone and to kill the body of a child is the same thing. Yes. They think like. And yet the incredible thing is the obsession with making life longer. I mean, what is the point of, of making a, a life longer that is, is a worthless life anyway? Because yeah, it's so materialistic. You take a, take a man well, somebody could say he's given a great deal of enjoyment. A man like Walt Disney, you know, has had his long body put into... You can see this tree, uh, you'll find at least 500 years old. Mm. <laughs> so this kind of longer life, what is the value? Yeah. What is the value? Yeah. There are many trees, I've seen one tree in San Francisco, 7,000 years old. Or oh, the redwood... Uh, yeah. Yeah, the redwoods, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> it makes Walt Disney look a bit This dark. kind of longer life, <laughs> what is the value? Yes. Yes, you know, he had his body put into suspended animation. Well, I don't know what they call it, cytology, is it, or something? Or they have them put into chemicals and bathe because he died of cancer. And he wants to be woken up in about 50 years' time when they've got the <laughs> cure for cancer. Yeah. And then he can live again and, you know, make a few more films, apparently. It's extraordinary. <laughs> attitude to life, isn't it, really? <laughs> One of the other problems that I was going to raise, and in fact it appears in the question sheet, um, there seems to be, so in the uh, uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, is that the right pronunciation? I always get these yeah, things wrong. Uh, a very great deal of, of what, what one could call demonology, if you like. Um, now, I confess this raises problems for me. Um, when when uh, a book like that... Um, what was it in Thai years ago? Yes, very, very ancient. Now, is it, is it to be taken, uh, the references say to Putana, is this to be taken uh, it is also physically or, or spiritually as a no. demonic power or what? No, no. Which, which one? Um, where... Um, is it the demoness Patana takes Krishna and Krishna uh, sucks her breast? That's right. No, literally. Allegorically, he's literally. Yeah. literally as a physical fact. Oh, yes. oh, yes. Now having said that then, if one goes on um, logically... We'll find so many demons like Putana, even at the present moment. <coughs> so,
so one could leap from behind a tree, there, you know, putting it there, tritely, there. if you like. Bhagavatam, there is nothing. There, there are some figurative use, just like we speak the story of Isaac's favor. Yes, yes. Uh, that is for instruction. Mm. Mm. Uh, just like a jackal is talking with a lion. Yes. You see? Yes. So, there are you, you stories feel, yes, like there that. are figurative stories. Yes. I mean, uh, one or two of the stories, uh, the reference to um, Krishna and the unmarried gopi, gopis, saying that he, he treated them like dolls, yet they were well pleased with him. Um, now, would it be right to say that the, the main point of that story, rather than... Um, dolls? Yeah, he, does, he says he treated them rather like dolls. That's your own translation on that one. Um, but they were well pleased with him. Is the point of the story Doll, like that? Dolls play? means just like... Play with them. Uh, that's like doll player. Yes, yes. They make the dolls dance. Dance, yes. Is it like As he wishes. Puppets. Yes. Puppets. 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 Yes. Now, I mean, is, is that to be taken uh, again literally, or is there, a, as you say, a figurative meaning there in terms no, of. No, that is faith? Because Gopi were just dancing according to Krishna's desire. They are so devoted that whatever Krishna desires, they prepare to hmm. See, without being too irreverent, it seems a strange thing to, to get young ladies to undress in front of you. That's what I'm I I'm probably say, misunderstanding it, you see. It will be difficult for ordinary person. Uh, still, uh, uh, as far as possible, I've tried to explain for understanding of the ordinary people. By general reading, it is not difficult. Mm. This is the, um, the sort of problem one comes across, uh, whether, whether in fact, you see, having grown up in uh, what was really a very liberal, critical attitude... Um, Therefore, uh, this portion of Krishna's life is depicted on the tenth canto. Yes. Nine cantos are devoted to understand Krishna. Yes. So without understanding Krishna, if one tries to read the life and pastimes of Krishna, it may be misleading. Yes, yes. Hmm. I think somewhere it said... Uh, that's where Bhagavad begins, uh, the Sri Japa. Hmm. Hmm. What is the origin source of creation? Not abruptly Krishna. Yes, yes. Then, after developing all such knowledge, one can understand yes. what is Krishna. So when the, when the Krishna... The but in the spiritual Krishna. world, mm -hmm. there are activities like that. Mm. Uh, yes. The material world is only perverted reflection yes. of these activities of the spiritual world. Mm. So when you perverted reflection. Mm. It is reflection, but perverted. Therefore, it is difficult. Mm. Mm. So when the insight Everything is there, is you there. see the truth. The basic yeah. principle that Krishna loved the gopis. Mm. Gopis are young girls. Krishna was young boy. Mm. But the same love between young boy and girl here is lust. Yes. That's what it is called. Yes. Yes. The reflection is there, mm. Mm. but it is n not love. It is lust. Yes. That's the difference. That's the difference. Yes. So it's using our experiences and refining them and distilling them and showing yes. what okay. the true value of these experiences yes. is. The true meaning of them. In a gopi's love with Krishna, there is no lust. There no. is the difference. Reverence, isn't uh, it? Yeah. Reverence for him. The so-called love is lust only. It is going yes. on in the name of love. Mm. Mm. Actually, it is not love. And because it is not love, therefore such kind of love does not continue very long. It breaks. Yes. Mm. But we don't find in the history of spiritual world, 
the love between the gopis and Krishna broke at any time. No. Yeah, that is the reason. Yes, yes. Whereas yes. one in three of the Western marriages, so they say, is destined to break. Yeah. One in three. Mm-hmm. That's what they say now, one in three. Yes. The latest... Uh, the same thing is there. Figures. But they are dragging this lusty affair to Krishna. Mm. Generally the rascal, the friend Krishna's picture with Gopi, so that their lusty activities can be supported by Krishna has yeah. yeah. This is misunderstanding. Mm. They do not take into calculation. Here, the so-called love is lust and it breaks. But in the gopis' love with Krishna, there is no, no breaking, no, 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 but no. increasing of love. So how they can compare Krishna's love with yes, gopis yes. with this lusty affair? I must admit, I, yes, I'd read far enough on to see that, and yeah. uh, I think this is... Uh, when we analyze, make analogy, the points of similarity must be there. Yes. But these rascals are so dull-headed that they have no even logical arguments. So where are the points of similarity that we are comparing these lusty affairs of this material world to the affairs of Krishna and Gopi? Where is the similarity? There's never mention of lust or of any animal desire at all, is there? No. 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 It's just reverence ah, just and like love. Just like Krishna is to dance with so many gopis, everything is described there, that they, they embrace, they kiss, but there is no such thing about sex or encounters of peace. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. These things have to be studied. Mm. So how we can compare Gopi's love with Krishna yes. mm. with these mm. lusty affairs of this material world? Can't be done. Mm. Mm. Another question that raised itself, um, which you'll see in the paper, in fact, was the um, um, little mention in one of the books that I was reading, not from, from Krishna Consciousness Movement, just to get a bit of background. Um, on Lloyd Chaitanya, and it seems to have been... Um, Krishna a, consciousness movement is already there in the Srimad Bhagavat. Yes. Describe. If you like, the, the, the later manifestation, isn't uh, it? Of, we are simply the, trying to present them, that's mm. all. Mm. It is not. Yes. yes. We have manufactured something. Mm. No. There is no question of concoction and manufacture. No. It's passing on what has already been there. Yeah. Yes. 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 Mm. Mm. Uh, a lot of, a lot of these people... Speak of Krishna. Oh, Krishna is already there. Mm. When you speak of Vrindavan, Vrindavan is already there. Mm. It is not that yes. we are manufacturing some picture. No, no. Imagination, no. Mm. They take it like that. The rascals take it like that. Yes. There is a kind of imagination of the poet. Mm. The Mahavadi philosopher also take that. But that, that's not the fact. It is actually presentation of the spiritual facts. And as the spiritual activities are quite different from material activities, they misunderstand. Mm. Mm. They misunderstand. Yes. It's one of the interesting features was, uh, of this little um, bit about uh, Lord Chaitanya was in fact that, uh, that they, he claimed him to be uh, pathological. You know the manifestations, obviously, of, uh, of Krishna consciousness and Kirtan and so on. Um, there seems to be this, uh, obviously, uh, you, you would regard as a scurrilous or a, a wrong-headed or dull-headed field of people who regard his manifestations of God consciousness as um, verging on, on madness or temporary madness. What would you say about that? Or obviously well, you've rejected when, when a man is himself mad, He'll find others mad. Yes, <laughs> true. <laughs> yes, he sees a reflection of himself. If one is himself deaf, he'll think others are deaf. Yeah, so, Madnati Jagat, everyone thinks the whole world is like him. Yes. <laughs> Therefore, true. they think Krishna is like him. Abhajananti manga mudha manu simtanumas. That is condemned in the Bhagavad Gita. That these rascals, because I come in human form to benefit them. They take me as human being. That is uh, mentioned, but these things are taken like that yes. by the murahs. Mm. Murahs means rascals. Yes. Asses. 
So really, they're just talking, as you say, from within their own experience. Yes. They're being lacking in imagination, really, because they can't imagine what happens when God possesses a man. Because Krishna is lifting the Govardhan hill, they are thinking, this is imagination. Yes. But if, if actually Krishna is God, is it very difficult for him to lift the mountain? He, he is floating so many heavy planets in the air. It's easy for him. So, the weightlessness, if Krishna can make weightless so many heavy planets, is it very difficult for him to make the Govardhan hill weightless? So too. So these things have to be understood. Mm. So once again you'd say that this Therefore a... in the Bhagavad Gita it is clearly said, Bhaktyamama Vijana. Simply through devotion and service, one yes. can understand. Yes. Yes. Others will misunderstand. Mm. Yes, one doesn't become concerned with these what really are the superficials of an inner state. If you, if you accept and appreciate the, the validity of of bhakti. What is this? Oh. Oh. Once again, many thanks for your <laughs> Thank you. tremendous cooperation. Um, as I say, I hope it won't put you to too much work. It, obviously, some of these things have already been met. You know, we've, to a certain extent, we've done some of the work already, haven't we? So, yeah. Some of our students may be. If it is presented, yes. if it is misrepresented, then it, yeah. it is useless to publish. I don't want that to happen, you yeah. see. Yeah. This yeah. is why I'm so anxious that at yeah. every stage so it you is seen. Yeah. Will you? Sure. Maybe, sure. You know. sure. That would be... I, I, I've said to the publishers, as far as I'm concerned, that they've given me a date at the end of September, but I've said if, if the people in the Krishna Consciousness Movement do not accept what I've put forward as a representative view of their own, then the date's going to go back. I've said that. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's an accepted uh, idea. Hey,